Hello world of the internet, my name is Simon Miller and welcome to a 24 hour delay vlog. I admit it, I didn't get around to doing it yesterday because life got in the way. It's like Jurassic Park. Is that what they say in Jurassic Park? Life, no, life finds a way. Nah, that's kind of technically true. We found a way to get a vlog done and that's all that matters. If you've never watched before, uh, please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, you know, all that YouTube stuff that all the cool kids do in 2018. I'm not included in that bracket. And yeah, but today we're going to talk about motivation. Just hit my phone charger there. <laughs> you got to love it. Uh, yeah, as you, if you don't know, if you've never watched my vlogs before, uh, sometimes I just do random stories or memories that I have based on my own life. But mostly I like to respond to what people want me to talk about. And a question I get a lot is, you know, motivation, how to stay motivated, how do I get motivated, how, what's my own personal take on motivation. So I thought we can talk about that even though kind of the answer may not be what a lot of people want to hear. Uh, because basically, I mean, if you know me, if you don't know me, whatever, I like to do a lot of stuff in my life. I do stuff, excuse me. I drank a protein shake before I do this, and it was stuck in my mouth. That's always nice for a vlog. Would, most people would cut it out. I don't. I like these to be literal streams of consciousness. There's no edits, there's no jump cuts, unless something goes wrong with the sound. That you, if, if you ever see a jump cut, something's gone wrong with the sound. Uh, but I like to do a lot with my life. I just do it. It's the way I'm built. Uh, I like to have, you know, multiple things I can throw myself into every day. That's why I'm in a band. Uh, I go to the gym, which I think this is probably going to be more focused on, but we'll try and keep it as general as possible. Uh, I run my own business, for lack of a better term. I make videos. Uh, there's loads of other little stuff. We, we don't need to go through it through it all. But that's just how oh, I'm trying to be a wrestler. Well, I was a wrestler and I got injured. You know, I like to throw multiple stuff uh, in there because th that's just who I am. As a human being, I found out, you know, sort of however long ago it was, a, a period of time ago that that suits my brain. It just works for me. Don't know why. It'll probably kill me <laughs> one day, 15, 20 years too soon, but whatever. That's how I'm built. And I kind of embrace that. So what I mean by this may not be the answer you want to hear is that because it's like going to the gym, right? A lot of people say, oh, Simon, how do you keep up your, your passion and your enthusiasm to go to the gym? Well, I like going. And if you like doing anything, it's not hard work. It's something you look forward to. Like if you, it's the same with anything. If you like playing football, you, you go and do that. It doesn't feel like a hardship because it's not a hardship. It's as simple as that. And that's kind of the same uh, with me with all, all my different projects and how I stay motivated, especially when we're talking about fitness because I like staying fit. I like lifting weights. So most days, if I've got nothing else on, or I've just got my usual nine to five or whatever, you know, going to the gym in the evening will be the highlight of my day, because like I said, I, I enjoy lifting weights. But that doesn't mean that you can't use some of these thoughts to maybe try and apply it to yourself. Now, let's not be ridiculous here. Nobody wakes up every day feeling super motivated. Even all the people on Instagram that are like, I get up at you know 4 a.m. to do this. They, a, it's probably not true. <laughs> They're probably not doing that every day, which is another thing we maybe we should talk about in the future, how that kind of social media, uh, that's the word I'm looking for, but the social media approach or spin that some people give is actually quite detrimental to some people's mental health because it's easy to buy into and no one shows their worst side on social media, or some people do, but that's a whole other conversation. But yeah, everyone struggles with motivation from time to time. It could be because you've overdone it. It could be because you're too tired. You may be going through a hard patch. You may be struggling with something and that's affecting you in other areas. So certainly don't beat yourself up if you're not motivated to do something. However, if you're then discovering, wait, this is becoming you know, more of a common theme as opposed to a one-off, the best thing you can always do is just sit down, take some time for yourself and try and figure out what the issue is. Because again, if it's really something you don't like doing, we'll take weights because it's an easy example to have. If you want to get in shape, but you don't like lifting weights or you don't like going on a carding machine, don't do it. That is the best way to start. Start, if, if you can't find things to write down, find things you can start to cross off. So you don't like the treadmill, don't go on the treadmill. You know, you could go play tennis. Again, we've mentioned football, any kind of sport. Go learn MMA, karate, martial arts, be a wrestler. You know, that you don't have to get into any of those things that I just mentioned to become a pro at them. They can just be something that, again, you do for your own physical health. And if anybody else says, oh, you're an asshole for not trying to take this the whole way, no, they're the asshole. Because it's nothing to do with them. You approach your life and you, you know, drag things into it depending on what suits you at that time. So I think that is a key uh, when it comes to motivation is I don't don't ever follow the status quo. Don't think you have to do X, Y, and Z just because somebody else has insinuated that's what you should do. Find your own thing and listen to your body, listen to your brain, you know, tap into what works for you. And as soon as you establish that, yeah, jump on it, go nuts. Follow it through to, to the nth degree. And if one day you wake up and think, I don't want to do that anymore, that's all right as well. <laughs> Stop doing it and, you know, find something else. And I'm kind of going off track here, but we may as well. It's in my brain. It's why, again, I really don't like these 
these posts on Instagram or whatever that say like, oh, if you're not grinding and putting in the hours, you're not going to get there. Look, of course, hard work is important for anything you do, you know, be it work as in your job. Yeah, of course, there is going to be some hard, hard work there, but you shouldn't be running yourself into the ground, especially not mentally, because if you're doing that, what's the point anyway? Surely <laughs> we're getting hippy trippy again, but surely the whole point of all of this existence and life is to be happy. Otherwise, what is the point? Why, why live a miserable life just because, you know, you're following some bizarre ideals that somebody else has put? Po- well, look, you may want to do that, and that's cool. I'm not here to judge anybody. I just don't personally get that. I think, I do think you have to work hard. And again, I don't think that opportunity or achievements just happen. I think you have to set yourself a goal and put things in place and hope that you get not hope, but work towards what you want to get. And also, when you're going there, make sure you enjoy day to day because we're all the same. You get to your goal and you're like, well, what's next? No one actually truly appreciates the goal and goes, oh, I've done it. whoop de doo I'm sure you will eventually. But that just seems to be, you know, the way it is. So it is, you know, there, there, there is a fine balance, basically, between making sure that you're motivated enough to do whatever it is you want to do to ensure you tap into that weird passion you've got inside of you or whatever it could be, while also balancing that with your own happiness and joy and entertainment and mental health and all things like that. But in terms of staying, I, I just think you, that, that's my point as well. In terms of the question that people ask me, Miller, how do you stay so motivated? It's because I want all this stuff. That's all it is. So the wrestling, you know, when I tried to fit that into my into my work life, I just go, well, I'll just do it because it's something that I want. The same with you know all the videos that I'll do or, or the amount of times I go to the gym or whatever. Whatever falls into this circular sphere, whatever it is that I feel like I want to do, I'll just make sure that I get it in. And this sacrifice, sure, again, it doesn't mean you have to do this, but I should sleep more. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit I should sleep more. And I probably don't see friends as much uh, as I should do. But that's, you know, that, I think the other thing with that is, is that anyone that is my friend, they kind of get it, right? They understand. They know what I'm like and they know what I'm, I'm doing. So they're cool with it. And that's what a friend should be like. A friend should be someone there to support you. And I still make time for them as and when. But, you know, because I usually throw myself into a hundred different things, they get that as well. So I think you do need to look at almost your, yeah, everybody around you too. Because you shouldn't have anyone ever, if someone truly understands your brain and truly understands what you're trying to do and they're giving you a hard time for it, that's someone you kind of have to, I'm not saying that, you know, if, if you're married and you're never seeing your wife, of course, that's that's an issue as it would be because I'm sure she wants to spend time with you. But there are little caveats within that that don't, you know, don't let anyone knock you off of course, should it seem like they're doing so negatively. It's a positive thing. But it's a positive thing you'll know. It'll just be a conversation and you'll sort it out. But yeah, in terms of your own motivation, I think you just need to find that thing inside yourself that makes sense. And as soon as it does make sense, you'll be able to follow it through to its natural conclusion. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't feel bad if you can't find it. Take your time. Uh, And look, some people need to go the other way. Maybe you have to force yourself into a different routine or whatever tick boxes you need to tick. And eventually it will start to make sense. Like what I got the other day was somebody asked me, Simon, I get up at, you know, I have to get up at 4.45 in the morning if I want to hit the gym before work, but I'm tired. What do I do? The answers are quite simple. Really, It's like, go to bed a bit earlier. You know, maybe have a coffee when you wake up, get that caffeine boost. Not the ideal thing in the world, but you know, it's still, still not the end of the world. But in terms of having that motivation, you are going to the gym, you don't want to go. Maybe it's because what you're actually going to do isn't something that, that you enjoy. Or if you know that's the only thing you can do, maybe you do have to kind of, you know, shake up what you're doing your end so it does come a bit more enjoyable. I guess what I'm trying to say here, much like fitness itself, and this is my personal beliefs, don't overthink it. Keep it really simple. For example, you want to lose fat, make sure you're burning more calories than you're taking in. As those are fad diets out there and you can try all of them, you know, it may work for you. You don't know until you give it a go. But never think that there's some magic pill or a secret answer. Sometimes it's just about keeping things dirt simple. So yeah, with motivation, find what works for you. Make sure you're passionate about it. Make sure you want it. Don't feel guilty if you decide that's not what you want. And hopefully within that, you'll find your own way. You'll find your own path. And before you know it, you'll be, yeah, you, you, you'll be balanced. And you'll be doing all the things you want to do and you won't sort of be waking up going, oh, I can't, I can't want to do that. That goes for your job as well. If you don't, I understand it's not as easy as this. But if the motivation is coming from the fact that you don't like your job, well, that's kind of good. Because the first thing you know is, okay, my job is a problem. What do I want to do about it? Maybe you realize, well, I've got other priorities here, be it family, kids, wife, whatever, husband, uh, parents, I don't know. Um, you know, that may be a bigger priority to you. And then, but that's good too, because then you can go, well, okay, my job, I'm not 100% into it, but I'm doing it for everything over here. And because of that, I actually feel 
I feel a bit more. I feel a bit better about it. And sometimes maybe you do have to go a bit introspective and try and figure out figure out what you want. But yes, I'm very lucky in the sense that everything. Well, I am. I'm, I have worked hard, but I still feel lucky that everything that I have in my life I really enjoy. So even if it is a busy day or. You know, I've got to get up at the crack of dawn and work through till, till the wee hours. I kind of think to myself, well, I'm lucky that I get to do this. If you had told me this 20 years ago that I'd be in this position, I would have done backflips badly. Not a man that can operate very well. My knees would have cracked, much like they do now, even when I was a kid. Bad news. But, you know, I'm enjoying it. And again, I'm lucky to be here. So I'm kind of just going to put a smile on my face and, and continue to rock through it, which is where a lot of my positivity comes from as well. I always try and take in the moment. I always try and be a bit, again, introspective and remind how, where I've come from, where I've been, blah, 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 all that kind of nonsense. And I don't, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing for people to do. So yeah, motivation is a crazy thing. It's, it's, you know, it can change on a dime as well. You can wake up on a Monday as some people do, oh, I'm going to, you know, smash my diet. And by Tuesday afternoon, you're eating chocolate. <laughs> maybe there's something in that clearly either, you know, with that just quickly, you know, maybe that, maybe the diet was too intense. You don't have to have a crazy intense diet to lose weight. There's, you know, loads of little things you can do to make sure that it's all spread out. Um, but just, just take a moment and figure out why. And usually I think, and I'm not saying I'm right, don't know everything, but of an idiot all in all, it will make you go, you know what? It's because I just wasn't enjoying it that much. And you can find something that does. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Right, I'll stop rambling now. Uh, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. Again, with the comments, obviously have a chat about this. I love us joining in and, and having that chat. But is there anything you feel like you want me to, to vlog about? We're going to do another one this week, which will be a bit more, or less airy-fairy and more on something specific. But I'm always appreciative of ideas. It's still a relatively new thing for me to do. So sometimes I do sit here and I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> uh, so I always look at them. Uh, yeah, I'm on Twitter at Simon316, Instagram at Simon316. I'll throw it out there. All of this is supported by patreon.com for the Simon316. You know what that does. I'm not going to oversell it. That's it. Let's say goodbye and I will see you again very soon. Mm -hmm.